At 35 Brook Street, uh, the first tiny home built in Atlantic Canada. Sean Hickey is proud to stand in his show home, all 560 square feet of it. He owned the land in Stephenville and decided to build homes, very small ones, with foundations and no wheels, backyards and sod. I wanted to do something different, affordable housing, because not everybody can afford the $300,000 home. So we decided to go with this concept and this hair model that we're, you're in today, we're selling for $89.95, furnished with the land. It comes with a kitchen, living room, bedroom, pull-out couch, and a great nook upstairs that fits a queen-size bed and a seating area. He says it's everything you want in a home, even a back deck with a view. But this tiny home subdivision didn't go over well with town council at first. Homes that would, in Steemel up to this point, they had to be at least 750 square feet to meet a dwelling standard. So basically we had to do some research and obviously it's, it's trending, it's a new phenomenon that's out there. But we also had to go to municipal uh, planning to ensure that we were uh, permitted to do so. Other people across the province have considered building tiny homes but have come up against the same red tape. The houses are too small to meet the definition of a dwelling in most municipalities. Rose and the town council literally had to change the wording to smaller than 750 square feet to allow Hickey to build tiny homes on his 13 tiny lots. The property taxes are lower but the mayor thinks the trend will attract new people. That's good revenue for the town, it's bringing in people, it's putting attention on Stephenville and I think it's the right thing to do. There are two houses built now and one more going up this month. My intention was for seniors, uh, like single seniors or senior couples or somebody just starting out, like making minimum wage jobs, the young couples that are up on base paying, renting an apartment here for $650 to $700 a month, you can own this home for $390 a month on a mortgage. Hickey says more of these tiny homes are going to go up on this land, especially in the coming year. But the best part is your electricity bill. Hickey says you can heat and light one of these places for around 50 or 60 bucks a month. Colleen Connors, CBC News, Stephenville.